Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to use the cost of firing feature on the RTC-1000 controller. And this just allows the controller to track the cost of firing based on the cost of the electricity in your area and the wattage rating of your kiln. But both of these need to be entered in the controller first so it is able to calculate that number for you. So, let's go ahead and do that now. We'll press the enter button. You'll get the dashes. Then you can either use the menu button or the menu back button to, until you see cost. And I happen to know it's the very last one in the list, so we'll press menu back and we'll see cost. So then we go ahead and press the enter button. And now you need to enter the cost per kilowatt hour for your area. And now this varies, like I said, from area to area, and it can also vary by time of day. So you can check with your electric company what the cost is. It also goes by fractions of a penny. So if we want 7.1 pennies is the cost per hour, we're gonna go ahead and press zero, zero, seven, one, and that gives us 7.1 cents. So then we'll go ahead and press the enter button to put that in. And now it's asking you for the wattage of your kiln divided by 10. So if your wattage for the kiln is 1,450, we're gonna divide that by 10 and put 145. So then once you get that entered in there, go ahead and press the enter button and then it's going to take you back to idle. Now that's all you have to do to get it set up for the cost of firing. But now if you'd like to see a previous firing, say you've gotten it set up, you've ran your firing, and you'd like to check and see what your cost was for that firing, you'll press the enter button and then press program review. Now it's going to go through the loaded program. It's going to give you all the settings for each segment. And then at the very end, it's going to give you the cost. And that will tell you the cost for the last firing on the controller. So we'll just wait till it gets here. It's on segment four right now, out of eight. And you can also check this um, during a firing. So if you've got the firing running and you press the enter program review button like we just did, it will display the cost per firing up until that point and then that will change as the firing progresses. So here we're almost to it. We'll see the alarm, the error codes are on, the number of firings, and then the cost. So 1061 was the cost of our last firing. So that's it for this one, but remember to like us on Facebook, sign up for our e-newsletter, or check our website for more information and tips. Thanks!